Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with Dave's Faves. And one of you, and this is a Dave's Faves special request. One of you wanted to know if there is a recording that I could feature of shorter Sibelius tone poems. And you mentioned some of the incidental music too, but I, I'm going to focus on the tone poems. And the answer is really simple. It's, it's a recording I've talked about before and which I think is just one of the most wonderful things you could have in the world of Sibelius. And it's this two disc set of tone poems on Chandos featuring Alexander Gibson and the Scottish National Orchestra, which had not become the Royal Scottish National Orchestra at that point. You actually get big tone poems and little tone poems, but it's the little ones that you are interested in. And frankly, these performances of the shorter, smaller ones are every bit as great as the bigger, juicier ones. So you get on disc one, there are two discs of, you know, really a lot of music here um, on Saga, which of course is, you know, one of the big ones. Then you have the best ever performance of Luanatar with Phyllis Bryn Yulson, who is a specialist in contemporary music and who has absolutely perfect pitch and totally, I mean, she's like Birgit Nielsen, only more lyrical. She just had that ability to just reach up and peg a note and snatch it out of thin air. And that's what you have to do with this piece. It's absolutely essential. But it, even more than that, Gibson just gets an accompaniment, gets that accompaniment going and, and just nails it. It's thrilling. It's absolutely thrilling. And the last chord, when her voice floats away into the high, sustained notes of the violins, and you can't tell where her voice ends and the violins begin. Oh, it's magical. Absolutely magical. So you get Luana Turner, and then you get Finlandia, which sounds Finlandish. You know, it sounds like you know, Die Hard with a Vengeance or whatever that thing was that used Finlandia. And then you get the Spring Song, which is lovely. And you get the Bard, which is really weird. The Bard is such a strange, strange piece. It's got lots of harps because it's a bard. And it actually uses a tam-tam, which is almost unheard of in Sibelius. Only like quadruple piano after the big climax. You won't hear it. You probably won't notice it, but it's in there. Um, but this strange climax and the, the long sustained tones and the brass. Oh, it's all marvelously atmospheric. And then you get the dryad, which nobody knows about, which is only five minutes long. It's one of those dance intermezzo type things that Sibelius kept trying to write to make some money off of it. It never worked. Um, but it's a very evocative and enjoyable work. And then on disc two, you get Pochula's Daughter, which of course is just one of the great things in the history of humanity. And it's a, this is an exciting performance of it. Very, very exciting. And Night Ride and Sunrise, which actually moves successfully and rather purposefully to its sunrisey conclusion. I'm not entirely convinced that the sunrise part works as well as it needs to. I mean, the piece always seems to me as though it should end about three minutes sooner than it actually does. But I mean, it's such pretty music. We don't really care, do we? We really don't. And, and then, oh, oh, the Oceanides. This is hands down the best one of those two. It really is. And the reason is because Gibson times the waves. You know how like when you're a surfer and you're on your board and you're pet, like I'm a surfer, look at me. I mean, do you ever think I was near a surfboard? No, but that I get the concept. You know, you're paddling along and you have to time when the wave is coming up and when you jump on it and, you know, and well, that's what Gibson does. He times the waves because the climax of Oceanides, Oceanides is almost entirely athematic. It's a fascinating work. It has sort of a tune, you know, the flute needs to go do 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 put it up put it up put it up put it up put it. That's the first theme. It's like a little motive, and the, and then it, it's a sonata form without development section. That's how it works. It's A B A B coda. That's it, right? And then then the B section is yada da 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 wada. I mean, it's just sort of goes up and down like the sea, it's sort of like you're in a boat bobbing on the ocean. It's going, yeah, da, the harps go, like, okay. So between B and the coda is the climax of the whole work. And the climax of the whole work is two enormous, well, two basically big. There's some, it works its way up to them. A series of waves. 
And Sibelius was great at doing waves. It's all string tremolos. And it gets higher. And then it gets higher. And then finally it just goes, whoa. The violins are all the way at the top and behind them. The brass makes this huge crescendo and you've got two sets of timpani so that when the wave comes crashing down, it's like pow! It's, oh, it's a marvelous thing. But most performances mistime it. They really do. They, you, you, you have to be moving at a tempo so that when the violins cut out, the brass crescendo comes in quickly enough to get to maximum force before the timpani and everybody comes crashing in, pow, and it all winds down, you know, like that. That's what it has to be. And no one does it better than Gibson. This is amazing for Oceanides. And it's also, you get this fantastic tapiola as well. Absolutely dazzling tapiola, very quick one. It's 15 minutes and 39 seconds. Tapiola often lasts 20 minutes. Believe it or not, it really does. And it can be wonderful when it lasts 20 minutes, but you really ought to hear one of the quicker ones. Berglund also got through it very quickly in like 16 minutes. Very, very interesting to hear that. You know, to hear it done at that kind of a flowing tempo, which I think is just fantastic as well. So if you want your short Sibelius tone poems and some of the long ones in wonderful, wonderful performances, gorgeously recorded and fabulous analog chando sound, Gibson and the Scottish National Orchestra is your baby. Trust me with this one. You are going to love it. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care.